Hey guys, welcome to the other guys' sports show. Myself, Robert Martinez, and I'm a partner in crime here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Martinez. Jesse Martinez. So uh, as you can see here, we're uh, midway almost here in the JV squad here. Uh, no, no, this is the A team now. The score. Two minutes before halftime. Score is Javelinas 20, Wildcats 24. Yeah, let me put the scoreboard real quick here. Bear in mind that we'll be showing the varsity after the conclusion of this game. So be sure to stay with us. The other guy's sports show. And Bobby right now on traffic. Traffic jam. He might show up. He might not show up. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So right now I'm going solo. Well, or Jesse here with me. So, it's, uh, so bear with us. I know a lot of the names. I really don't know. I know their faces, but uh, some of their names. And, and also we don't have a roster like... Like always, so yeah. that makes it that much difficult. We saw the first game we got here in the last fourth quarter of the of the B team on the JV, and uh, Wildcats were victorious. I think they won over like 15 points or so. I, I, I can't remember the score. I was kind of sitting up here. But this one here, it's a, a close matchup here. Got it mm -hmm. up by four points. You got Rios going to the line, shooting two. Are you familiar with all the kids? I uh, know, a little bit. A little bit. And this is re really the, the foundation, kind of uh, where, you know, this is where team skills are developed, you know, for the next level to get into varsity. So it's good to see some of the, you know, young blood get their moment to shine. Reminder, tomorrow there's a junior high game here. Uh, I think uh, girls. Gym. Tomorrow girls? Yes. What, gym here in the gym? I think in the junior high. In the junior high gym? Let's let you know. Uh -huh. Now, one thing that I like about the JV well, squads is that when well, you're in varsity, you're right in the bench. You know, you know. I think it's good to, to kind of uh, have some playing time in, in the JV level, right? Yeah. It's a deep three there from the elbow. Oh, yeah. oh that's good. That's good for Savala. I'll keep saying, if you were if you were number three jersey, you, know, <laughs> you, you gotta hit those. <laughs> <laughs> Rebound by Jesse. Uh oh, no foul there in that one. Uh, ball is thrown out of bounds. Let him know if the scoreboard's okay there. We have 30 seconds before halftime. Scores 24. Crystal City, uh, Carrizo 26. Oh, and, and one. They called the foul too? Yeah, they called the foul. Basket was good. Miss free throw. And it's so always tough though. You make those and yeah. one and you want to recapitalize on the, uh, the other free throw. Thank you. Thank you. See if the Havalinias can finish off strong here. Looks like a press here for the Wildcats. Nine seconds. Oh, and it looks real effective here. I always thought a sign of a good team if they can finish first half, first quarters, you know, that's that's always a sign of a good team then you can finish strong there. But looks like right now momentum is in uh, Walkett's side. Yes. It has a nice lead here. What was that? Six, seven points going to the halftime. So I know i uh, only seen a little bit. I was sitting I was having trouble like always <laughs> on the, uh, sitting up on the equipment though. So, so we'll be go ahead and uh, we'll take a break here, and we'll be back in seven minutes, and we'll continue here in the second second half here second at the uh, with the JV uh, the the A team. Stay with us, other guys, Porto.
mighty javelinas. Go, go Hans, go! go. Love that feeling of freedom on a motorcycle? We get it. And when you get your motorcycle loan from our credit union, you get it too. As a member and an owner, you get our best terms and best service. To wheel good reasons to see us. Border Federal Credit Union, serving the community since 1954. Stop by, give us a call, or visit us online at borderfcu.com. Insured by NCUA. Welcome back to the Vegas Sports Show. Here, waiting for the uh, second half of the action here for the JV. Now, I had a question here. This is the, the freshman of JV. This is JV. They kind of went away with a freshman team, so more like a JV A and B. So, this will be the A team. So, what? It will be a mixture of freshmen and. Freshmen through juniors. Juniors, right, I guess. So. But mostly, it's, I think, the younger team. Like, Oh, this one is probably the older team. Right, right. Uh -huh. So, so the first one, uh, the Walkers were victorious on that one. I can't remember the exact score, but I think they won by over 15 points or so, 13 or 15. I can't remember exactly. We were in the process of setting up, so I didn't uh, can recall the actual score. But bottom line is they were, they were victorious here. I'll go back to this game here. It looks like uh, the Walkers, right before the end of the first half, the Walkers came, they were, had momentum. Uh, came here today. Hopefully the Howlins can regroup here and... Mm -hmm. and uh, you know, close the gap here in, on the score. Yep. Started the second half here with a foul and a three-point shot on the Howardina side. It's a very early game, though. Nice defense here for number walk at number four. Oh, uh, the pass might be taught, but should have cut that one though. Mm -hmm. there. We got a bounce ball over for the Wildcats. Let us know if it's kind of loud or not, so we can make some adjustments. We had a comment here, it was kind of loud. Good front move there in the paint for the Wildcats. And I, I kind of like that, Jesse, kind of uh, old school, take it to the paint. No. 
uh, basket behind on the back no so yeah. you don't see that as often no more no uh, that's no. more like in the 80s and 90s so nowadays is all about the three yeah it is uh huh i think it's a curry misses miss everything up <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember, uh, come on, come on, back in the days, uh, come on, like in the 80s, come on, like I was saying, uh, man, they don't, come on, like, they don't low screen either. I'm not talking about the NFL, the, the NBA, of course. Come on, 80 points, 90 points, come on, like, it, it was, it's crazy. Nowadays in NBA, what, if you don't score 120, yeah. you consider it a lousy team. <laughs> and free throws, free throws are always crucial, especially if you want to win those close games. You gotta make the free throws. Looks like the Walkers are extending the lead here now, up by nine. We have a foul on Carrizo. And keep in mind, we'll be uh, showing the varsity squad also at the conclusion of this game. So be sure to stay with us. We got a good sports show. I don't know, Bobby. Might he might make an appearance? I'm not too sure yet. Double team there in the elbows. Mm, is very aggressive on the D. Uh huh. I saw that too. What was the foul on, on, on the ball or off the ball? Uh, on the ball. On the ball. I, guess, uh, I didn't see much contact there, bro. On the reaching. Oh, was it reaching? Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of that stuff, you, you gotta work with the refs, right? Yeah. A lot of refs are real sensitive. You 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 reach in barely, they'll they'll cut the foul on you. Uh, a double team there in the wall catch. Oh, more intercepted than that one. Oh, lost it there. <laughs> kind of all by himself. Good passing there. See, this is uh, uh, now looks like a press there. Some help here. Well, the Javelinas. So I think to me, this feels like a moment where the Javelinas have to be careful. If not, Carrizo can run with it. And this one kind of feels that way. Man, good hands for number 21 here. Oh. I was telling, I was telling Bobby a couple days ago. Man, you know, getting come on, we got out of this mode uh, on football. Then we get go into this mode for basketball. It takes me a couple of games to kind of get my my feet wet, kind of get ready for the for the basketball. And you know, basketball has always been one of my favorite sports. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you know, my, my favorite sport. Uh huh. Exactly. So. I know we don't get as many views in football, but uh, but still, you know, we do have a a, a hardcore fan base that want to see the Javelinas, well, the boys and the girls. You were telling me that the girls are playing today right now in yes, Randolph? Yes, they're playing in Randolph. Yeah, so let us know if there's an update. Be sure to put it there in the comment. And also, I'd like to report that tomorrow's going to be media day for the... Oh, nice three there, man. Nice the it's going to be media day, but I'm not too sure on the time, though. You know, I don't know if you know anything about that, the media day for no, the no. for the basketball squad. I'm assuming for both boys and girls. Ah, oh, just too long on that one. You get a rebound there. You know, I really like that when they jump there for the, uh, the ball's going out of bounds, they kind of sacrifice the body, you know. You know, you, you, I, I always like to see that, the energy. Yeah, the hustle. Yeah, the hustle, exactly. The loose balls. Uh -huh, and those, you know, you don't see them in the stats, but, you know, they benefit the team. And we have uh, my sister, Patty Castillo, on the, on the camera. And I also like to thank Jesse for, you know, being my wingman here. <laughs> like I was telling uh, Patty on the way over that. You know what? I haven't done a solo. Usually it's Bobby or David or something <laughs> like that. No, dude, I'm more like a, I'm more like a Robin to a Batman. I, you know. <laughs> That's a party. I'll help Bob, but I'm like Popovich. Just <laughs> one word answers. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as long as you don't, you don't, uh, I don't Popovich. This is it'll two people off and stuff. <laughs>
So anyway, so it looks like the Javelinas are trying to close the gap here. Down, yep. down by eight now. They were Good pass. Nice pass. And, and one. And one. I think that's Trevino going to the line. See if he can finish strong here in that one. So we we'll have some Wildcats fans say, hey, welcome to the other guy's sports show. If you're on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. Our goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the season. We're close. I think we're a little over 900. And then you're on Facebook, be sure to follow us also. Oh, nice fadeaway there. Oh, oh, putback is good. Putback. I think that's Bonilla. Number 32, Put right? The putback, yes. Oh wow, that's good finish for number five. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that was sweet. It seems that number five been real active though. They have a foul on Carrizo. And also Carrizo, you know, I know Crystal, you know, we're from Crystal Court, but Carrizo, they have some good athletes also in basketball, yes. right? Yes. Uh huh. And a lot of these kids, you know, they're, I know they have a, what, what do you call them when they play them? Uh, the travel ball. The travel ball, so they know each other pretty well. Ooh. Yeah, the finish. Without a kiss off the glass? Yep. Oh. He called it. I think he called <laughs> it. That's a good move there, but just have to give out the ball here. Kind of looking for their shot here on Javelinas. Uh oh. They were lucky they didn't turn over the ball there in that one. Yeah. A lot of time. Yeah. Take it to the hole. Oh, look like it got blocked. Too long. Come on. Couldn't, uh, couldn't get the rebound there. I'm surprised that that was a no foul. That's inside the three. I'm back to the charity stripe here for the Wildcats. I think at, at this point, I mean, the offense has slowed down a little bit, but, uh, but for sure, I know the Wildcats are taking advantage of the free throws. Yeah. Number 23, high archer. It's, it's good. You two play ball, Jesse? Or no, yeah, I haven't yeah, played yeah, in a Jesse, while. It's a young man's game, yeah. huh? <laughs> I know, but like my mind, I want to play ball, but I don't want to forget it. <laughs> my mind wants to, my body. <laughs> <laughs> my body rejects it. Yeah. Like <laughs> I remember a few years ago, you know, when I was. You know, at least 10 years ago, you know, you know I wasn't. Anyways, uh, the work, no, we decided it's play a, a pickup game. So sure enough, some people from work, almost three or four of them, went to the, to, to the, uh, right to the court in front of the high school. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they call that area. Yeah, um, the complex or? Complex. Yeah, the complex, exactly. So we were playing, oh man, yep, we were tired, yep, about 10 minutes <laughs> in, and they'll forget it. You know, some youngsters want to play ball with us, and hombre, everybody keep on bleeding, knees, and. We had Ben Gay for the following week. It was crazy, <laughs> man. We go never again. Uh, about that one. 30, 34 seconds here. Lanes are down, 35 to 43. What's on the line here? Number three, I think it's Zavala going to the line. I know he shot the, the three ball real well yeah. in the first half. We got Crystal in the bonus, so that's a plus for us. Oh, okay.
34 seconds left here. I think if they want the Javelinas to kind of try to win this game, you got to definitely make their move. Yeah. For sure, start of the fourth quarter. That's a nice, good double team there. You got a tight yeah. ball? Yeah, that, that was good. Stays that was a good here. Call. 27 seconds for the end of the third. That's a cool play design. Kind of use your your big there in the paint, but it's a little late whistle, but uh, I guess it was the right call. Yeah. Kind of remember. I mean, come on. He wears glasses. You know, when I was playing basketball too, when I was younger. Man, we're playing basketball in glasses. They don't. It's not a good combination. <laughs> Especially if you don't have those the straps behind have those or the little, goggles. Those jabars or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I was just, you know, plus I didn't have those and I would play basketball and the glass would kind of crooked and stuff. Nobody else crazy. Yeah. Those walkers are, you know, I don't have a percentage, but they're shooting pretty good on free throw. Uh, 21 seconds here. See if we can get a good shot here for the Javelinas. They're down by nine now. So what do you think, Amal? Like, like, I don't know what time you want to have to make your move. Maybe six, five minutes, six seconds, or six seconds, five seconds. Oh, that's a long three <laughs> by Jesse. That's good. Honestly, at first I was like, oh man, that's a desperate three. <laughs> but he made it, come on, like a confident. So great job there in the Javelinas. Yep. Then closing the gap. Let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back to see action on the fourth quarter. I think that's Porto. Okay, okay, we're back to you're in the action here. And then false. Wow, I say quarter, but really it's a period, so. <laughs> Fourth quarter, we yeah. have a basket by Rios. Score is Crystal City 41, Carrizo 45. So that's the kind of terminology we were talking about in football. That's quarters, this is periods. <laughs> so they're interchangeable. Right. There's some more uh, crowd coming in here. We should have a nice. Nice crowd. Yep. For the the third game here. Let's schedule it. I think it's seven, so we're definitely behind schedule here. Seven? Uh, it's like a seven thirty. Seven thirty. Okay. I think so. Number five again. Though. Seems that when Crystal tries to make their move, Carrizo comes back and you know scores a basket or so or two. Why not? He made it from three. Oh, it looked good though. Wow. <laughs> Good control there in the air. Yep. He made it look easy. Well, back, in the, back in the days, Jesse, you would have made that one too? Nah. No. <laughs> that was more fundamental for me. <laughs> just straight fundamental. up. <laughs> the game has well, evolved. I, I give you the benefit of that, Jesse. <laughs> you shouldn't say yes. I want to believe you. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, the game has evolved. It's gotten faster. Well, for sure it has. No, come on, like. I know dribbling skills, that man. You know that's that's, that's uh, you know back in the days, that man. Yeah, um, ball handling, shooting. As you can see, they're shooting from deep threes for now. 
Yeah, I'm just going like, there's no, what's the word, Wilson? Positionless players, no. There's yeah. no two center no more. It's more guards and forwards, pretty much. Oh, yeah. And not no more. You have your one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. Your bigs or fives. Yeah. The paint, no. You have guys that are yeah, I'm just six, eight, seven feet in the NBA handling the ball. Right. You will never almost see come on, like Patrick Ewing shoot threes on a regular basis. Now, if you don't shoot threes, you're bigs. You're out of the league, yeah. in a sense. We have Rios with an and one. Score is 44 for the city. Got Rizzo 49. So definitely down by five, though. There's plenty of time here to to make a comeback here. I think for the most part, I think the walk has been leading pretty much the entire game. Well, one thing, I also found out that, uh, that the Javelinas and the Varsity will be playing at the AT&T Center. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw that. I was you know. seeing, I think they're going to open district. Yeah, district against Hondo. Yeah. So that's kind of exciting for the kids. Yeah, both of them. I think the girls, I mean, they're playing. Uh, oh, really? Uh -huh. The same day? No, the girls play in a couple of weeks here in December. Oh, wow. Against the, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Pearson Mavericks. But that's kind of cool, though. You know, It's a good experience. Yeah, it is. It is. You know, you know, big in a big arena and, you know, cool, like you said. No, and I'm glad, you know, there's uh, an opportunity for that. Especially for smaller schools. Yeah. I could imagine going like the teams of San Antonio. I'm pretty sure they do that like every year. But uh, I'm glad there's an opportunity there. It's a good sportsmanship there, number 12. I always like to see that. Yep. But I was looking at the tickets. No, I was thinking, oh, you know, maybe the tickets are cheap. Well, they're coming. Yeah, they're coming like first tickets. I think they promote that you see the. Uh, the basketball team, and you, you can stick around to see the the the, 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 the 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 Spurs. But I think they play during the day. The yes, the high school plays. I think like I think I saw two, here. o'clock in the afternoon. It says here one fifteen. Okay. And I'll show you here. In the, we have a break here. Let me show it real quick here. Real quick. You can see that's a guy from, from Twitter. There's the opener and uh, January six at one fifteen. So that's a good opportunity if you can make it. I know there's some tickets. You have to go go to the city website, and I think there should be a link there. I saw that earlier today. I think the tickets were, what, like $50? Yeah, I think so. That's on low end, which the city wasn't too bad, though. Oh. It was kind of in the middle of the, not up there in the, in the nosebleed section, no. but it was, it, was, it, was, it was decent. I've been there before in the past, and it's okay. <laughs> I know that my spurs are not doing too hot recently. You know, I know going to a season... It's going to be a bumpy ride, though. Yeah. <laughs> Who's There's your team? Spurs. The they Spurs. started off strong, but oh, yeah. Bueno, you're my new best friend. Okay, <laughs> Bobby, Carlos Peleo con el con Lakers. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby, you've been demoted. <laughs> <laughs> right there. The elbow. Just kind of rolled out there. There in the elbow. Ooh, nice. That's a three for Carrizo. 54, 44. Yeah, no. What was that, 11? Is that a point? 11 or 10? 10, 11 10 or point. 10 point? Yeah, 10. You're right. Four minutes left. Plenty of time, but we definitely we're going to need to lock down on defense and and uh, and take better care of the ball. Yeah. Just look at playing like a zone, right? Uh, it looks like a 2 3 zone. 2 3 zone? Yeah. Honestly, I think that might have been a good foul there. Well, if it wasn't for that, I, don't th I think he would have made it. But uh, regardless, going to the free throws here. I mean, Carrizo has been, has been lights out on the free throws, so. Mm -hmm. I 
Bear in mind, we'll be showing the varsity team also. The conclusion of uh, JV, what's that not? A team, right? A team. A team. On the JV. Bobby right now is missing in action. He's done, done, done traveling right now. Oh, banker. Uh oh, my mata. Uh, maybe at this point, this might be the only way to kind of win. Kind of uh, try yeah. to heat up here in the threes for the Howlings. But definitely, you can't give up a three. Ooh, okay. You gotta push it. You gotta push yeah. it. Let's go. Come on, come on. I thought I was gonna call travel on that one, but. Looks like that's just his spot right there. Yeah. That's good. Oh, oh. Bonilla with an offensive uh -huh. rebound and a putback. That's a nice combination right there. Oh, man. I don't know. That seemed too desperate right there. And Carrizo, that was kind of fast. You right. Know, it is. Right. Uh huh. But at this point, you want to definitely bleed the clock here. More time management there. I'm not sure what happened. I think they call a foul on 20. A loose ball foul. A loose ball foul? Yeah. So, yeah, they're in the bonus, right? Carrizo? Mm hmm. They're both teams. One on one bonus. Ah. Uh, oh, right there in the corners. Ooh. Rubble. Yeah, definitely is going to hurt for the Howlings. Yeah. Good defense here for the Wildcats. Oh. What was it? I don't know. I don't know if he stepped out of bounds, though. Mm. I couldn't see from this angle. I don't think the ball went out of bounds, but I think he stepped out of bounds. It's kind of funny. No, well not funny. It's kind of strange, I guess. More that uh, even though we've gone down to 3A, so we're, we're not going to see Carrizo in district. So that's yeah. kind of kind of weird. But, but I'm glad, you know, at least we could uh, play them in non-district games. That's that's always fun. Uh, so it looks like the Wildcats are playing still strong here towards the end. Up by 11. You see, and that's the difference, like. Back in the day, they will be stalling. Yeah. You're up by 10 or 11, or just waste yep. time, follow. Nowadays, it's still attack mode. Yeah. You know, so and that's why the scoring has gone up. And I could see advantage and disadvantage of that, right? But but come on, like you think? Well, I guess that's old school mentality. Come on, mm -hmm. like me and you think. I'm like bleed the clock. You're up by you know your clock is your is your friend. You know, kind of grind it or. Better knock, like you said, it's more like pedal to the metal yeah. type of deal. See, right there. That's a, that's a perfect example. They were executed also for number 23 for the Wildcat. And that might be enough here to get the win here. A minute 32 left here. The full period. So the Walker has, has a nice lead here. But but definitely you want to see, even though let's say the game's out of reach, you definitely want to see the Javelinas kind of still you know play to the end, right? Yeah. Kind of uh, if, if this game's out of reach, you know, work towards the next game. Looks like that's his spot right there. Another three. Nobody's there. Like the idea of pushing the ball, though. Yeah, like pushing the ball. Yep. <laughs> you haven't gone to any basketball or football games? No. Or you usually, you don't. No. I went to two, I think, this year. Oh, really? The first How one and the last one I had. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> that was a problem. We should have got more games. <laughs> I know it was uh, uh it was it was a uh, well you know 
going into the season, it's going to be a bumpy season. And it, it was. It was. But but I'm glad the whole is, um, we're talking about the football team, that they finished strong at the end. And it's good for the seniors to go out, you know, winners. So I'm glad. You know, it was a, it was a good it was a good uh, good performance there. Mm -hmm. One thing that I kind of uh, enjoy, well, enjoy going down from four A to three A is that definitely we're going to different venues. Okay, we we haven't gone in a long time or, or ever. You know, come on, like you know, Jordan Ten of course, and you know those these and other schools okay, we haven't seen in a while. So that's that's kind of different. So that's kind of nice. Timeout, Crystal City. Yeah, let's Down by 10 let's with 52 seconds. Let's look at quick timeout also here. I think it's for sure. Okay, okay, we're back to the last few seconds here at this game. It looks like Carrizo will win this game unless some sort of crazy thing happens. I've seen some crazy g games, but I will see, what, 50, is that 52 seconds? 52 yeah. seconds. Yeah, let me bring it up here to the scoreboard. They can move, they can move. They can move. Oh, oh. And you, you hate to see that, especially come out of timeout. Right, yeah. you know, you want to come on. You have your play, or you you want to run, and all, and all something like this happens. They've been throwing set the paint, though. Be careful on that. Following crystal. So the conclusion of this game, we're gonna end this broadcast. We'll start another one. So be sure to 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 wait for that, or go to the homepage, or not the homepage, but YouTube or Facebook, and refresh it there, so you can see the the new broadcast. Probably give me like five, ten minutes at the most. We'll get it up and running. That's 39 seconds here. Nice dribbling there, but lost the ball there at the last second. I'll follow there on that one. So it's your first game of the season? Uh-huh. For basketball? Yes. You know, uh, we tried to... What was it? Bobby... He went to... He, he did a game. But he did it with just a camera. Was him or somebody else? I can't remember. I think it could have been Alex Martinez. Yeah. I saw Alex yeah. do, I think, uh, Crystal and the girls. Si, contra si. the Rio. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was maybe like a week or two weeks ago or so. Yeah, like two weeks ago. Uh -huh. So, but no, uh, I know we talked about it over the over the week, last week. And we should get back to to basketball. Because normally in the past, we usually start broadcasting during uh, district play. Okay. You know what? Let's try to do it a little bit earlier. You know, I do enjoy it also. And one other thing I like to watch is the development. Mm -hmm. You can see, come on, like let's see the one the Collins are struggling. You know, you can see the development. They're improving. Or, you know, so I, I like to see the that, that also. From one game to another. Uh -huh. And you do see it. And that's the end of the ball game. Final score. Walk at 67. Your mighty Havalina is 59. So we'll take a short break here. Be sure to refresh the page. And we'll give us like five or ten minutes. We'll be right back. Any last words, Jesse, before we take off? 
Nope. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching another Gus Porto.